Despite the Taliban's ban on girls' education and the threat of violence, some Kabul residents are fighting for their right to learn and teach. One of them is Sodaba Nazhand, who runs a secret school for girls and street children in her home. She and her sister offer classes in English, science and math to girls who should be in high school, but are denied the opportunity by the Taliban. Nazhan says she wants to stand against the Taliban's decision by empowering these girls with knowledge and skills. She believes education is the key to a better future for Afghanistan. Nazhan's school is not the only one of its kind. There are several other underground schools in operation across Kabul, where brave teachers and students risk their lives to pursue their passion for learning. Some of these schools are supported by local NGOs or religious groups, while others rely on donations or volunteers. The students often have to hide their books and notebooks under their clothes or burqas, and use different routes to avoid suspicion. The teachers also face harassment and intimidation from the Taliban, who have raided some of the schools and arrested or beaten the staff. The stories and initiatives of these Kabul residents show their resilience and courage in the face of adversity. They also demonstrate their commitment to girls' education, which is essential for the development and prosperity of the country. According to a report by Save the Children, more than 45% of girls are not going to school in Afghanistan, compared to 20% of boys. The report also found that 26% of girls are showing signs of depression, compared to 16% of boys. The lack of education not only affects the girls' mental health and well-being, but also their chances of finding employment, participating in society and contributing to peace. The international community has been urging the Taliban to respect girls' right to education and reopen schools for all levels. The U. And the European Union have proposed plans to pay salaries directly to Afghanistan's teachers, without involving the Taliban. However, the Taliban have not shown any sign of changing their policy or allowing girls to resume their studies. Some Taliban leaders claim that they support girls' education within Islamic limits, but others oppose it completely. The fate of millions of Afghan girls hangs in the balance as they wait for a decision that could change their lives forever.